Today, the moon is in Leo. Let's talk about self-care for a Leo moon. The sun has just gone into Aries. So yesterday was technically the spring equinox. We now have the sun in Aries. We're at that time of year when uh, the day and night are equal, right? Kind of turning a corner as we head into the growing season, the time with more light, the more creativity, more activity, putting things out there. Um, so this uh, Leo moon falls during this time of moving outward, beginning to embrace that experience of rebirth and stepping into our own life force energy and our drive to be who we are and to create from that place. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Wednesday, March 20th. So lots of fire energy today, fire moon, fire sun, uh, that feeling of new beginnings that comes with the Aries moon. And not, sorry, not the Aries moon, the Aries sun and the Leo moon, both in fire signs. So um, so with that Aries sun, we have um, stepping into this time of spring and growth and emergence. So that rebirth that we do in the springtime when, when the babies start to grow, right? Little, little sprouts come out of the ground. And so it's a time of thinking about new projects, um, thinking about our intentions that we've been working on and, and what it looks like to take action to bring those intentions into being. Um, so Aries and uh, both Aries Sun and Leo Moon are, um, because they're fire signs, very active, very proactive. So there's the feeling of uh, having energy to do things and that need to take risks. So we need to remember to be grounded. Um, grounding <laughs> is always going to help when uh, you're feeling that impulsive um, Aries energy. And of course, we're in a Pisces moon cycle. So this moon cycle began with the Pisces new moon. We're um, uh, going through this cycle of the unfolding of spirituality and connecting with a bigger picture, connecting with meaning, connecting with what makes our hearts sing. And so uh, that potential to sort of get lost, lose our our uh, moorings, so to speak, and have the experience of um, what we used to know dissolving. So so we have kind of that energy of um, of of release of physical form and and then we are acting that out through the sun now going into Aries. Um, where we have that experience of, of re-emergence into a new way of being. So what does that look like? What do you want to become, right? Letting go of the past as you um, uh, stay grounded in what feels important to you and remember to take action from that place. So taking action from the place of knowing who you are, knowing what's important to you, knowing what gives meaning to your life. So if that feeling of purpose can uh, be present when you uh, take that energy and put it in motion. So three ways to um, uh, embrace your self-care, to uh, take care of yourself during a Leo moon are to play, to create, and to share or shine your light. So that Leo energy wants expression. Um, it wants us to have that feeling of movement, but also that um, putting things into a way of being shared. Uh, so that um, that feeling of play, whether you're playing with uh, your appearance, your hair, your clothing, right, or changing your environment, your surroundings, and just having fun, right? Just do it because um, because it's fun to to do and to try new things and 
to experiment with um, how you want to express yourself, right? And the whole idea of it being playful is that there's no attachment, there's no commitment really, right? Like you can commit when you're ready, when you, after you've experimented and played and you know what you want. But the, the play part, the Leo part is about try it, try it on, step into it and experiment. So that's also the spirit with which um, we step into number two. So number one is play. Number two is create. And um, being creative is also a way of having fun, right? Trying things, put the paint on the paper, splash the color across that canvas of your life, um, whatever that looks like and feels like. So you get the sense that this is just kind of the spirit with which you want to approach things more than it is a specific instruction about what to do. So the spirit with, 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 with which you're going to approach things is that spirit of playfulness, of being creative, of exper experimenting, um, trying things on. Don't hold back. Go for it, right? Um, and that brings us to number three, which is share and shine your light, right? It's there to, for you to share with others. Um, so being who you are, sharing from, uh, sharing your story, sharing yourself, sharing what is unique about you and expressing yourself. So again, whether that's what outfit you decide uh, to choose for the day or whether that's something you're a project you're working on or you're just maybe taking your garden or your room or your wall and um, trying a way of being and how that is shared um, out loud from who you are, right? So it's like you're turning on the light of your heart so that others can see it. So really beautiful image. Um, this, just remember that with this fire energy, uh, we have that drive or that uh, impulsive need to act or to do things. So we just want to stay grounded and make sure that as we play and create and experiment and share and shine our light, we're being also mindful to, um, to be true to who we are. And that will help us to be co-creators with the wonderful people around us. So, um, so by you sharing your heart's truth, your heart's light, um, and also creating space for others to do so, we can have fun and play together. So lots of great uh, fire energy to work with today. Um, we are now uh, solidly into the Aries sun, off on the Aries season here, um, and heading into, of course, the Libra solar eclipse um, that will be coming up just at midnight, my time on uh, March 25th. Um, so uh, so whatever your time zone is, I'm on US Pacific time. Um, you know that that uh, lunar eclipse and that full moon energy is bringing something to culmination. So we'll head, uh, we'll keep, keep tabs on what's going on as we head toward that Libra full moon lunar eclipse. And thanks so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms. You can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. Thanks for being here. Thank you for subscribing and for all your support and likes and comments. All of it helps um, support my work. So I appreciate it. And I will be here next time with more astrology for unshakable self-care. Bye for now.